Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. 16. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I know, it is. It's crazy. We didn't think we'd be able to do this when we started. I know. We, we were having trouble sticking to that one every other day schedule, but. Uh, yeah, so today I took a shower, got ready. Well, wow, that. Jeez. Call it a day right there. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all we got time for. Honestly, yeah, most days. I have to go do makeup. I don't usually, I don't really do makeup anymore um, just because I can't with two kids and only one vehicle. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. But um, I do it w once in a while for people that I personally know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to do makeup today. And I'm not sure what the rest of the day holds, but. I was going to give a little studio tour. Studio tour? Yeah. Remember how I said when we first started I really wanted to show our setup so that way. If we ever, like, upgrade it down the road, we can remember how it all started. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll check in later. Ivy, can I have some? Mm -hmm. Ivy, ah, uh, can I have some? Hey, hey, can I have some? Hey. Ivy, ah, uh, thank you. Have more. I want more. There's nothing in that hand, Ivy. You're just pinching your fingers together. She's <laughs> pinching your fingers. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 <laughs> so for lunch, we made like a pasta salad. It's got red lentil pasta, blanched broccoli, corn, beans. It's kind of just like a modge podge of veggies we had in the fridge, but there's those uh, fake bacon bits in there. So that's pretty much salt. And that's it. Very really good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I really like that red lentil pasta. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick studio tour, if you'd even call it that. It's more like a, a spare bedroom where we do our filming tour. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to do this um, just because already we've made some upgrades to like our equipment. Um, very small upgrades, but we've come a long way from our first video already. And the reason for that is we didn't know if we were gonna do this or just kind of try it. Um, we're having a lot of fun, so we're gonna do it. And so we made some upgrades just to, you know, it's almost like a hobby at this point. And so I wanted to show you guys kind of where we started and what we're at now. And then maybe sometime in the future we'll get even more cool stuff. So I'll show you around the room. So as you can see, this room is pretty tiny and there's a lot to be done. Hi, Ivy. There's a lot to be done in here if we actually wanted to use it as some kind of space, but it was kind of just an extra room that we didn't have any use for. Um, and as you can see, we don't even have curtains up yet. We kind of just threw a sheet up, which, uh, you know, whatever. Emily's not thrilled about it, but I called it good. So this is kind of where we do the majority of the filming um, for any standard video we have. And this is Emily's iMac, and that's what she edits on. And, I mean, that's a seven- or eight-year-old iMac, and it came with a free editing software. And that's what we're still using. So we have a tripod. Um, which was our first investment. Um, and it's like a $30 tripod from Walmart. And we used to use a paint stick. We used to tape this paint, see, tape still on it. We used to tape this paint stick to the back of her computer and we would sit, you know, in those chairs. And that's how, <laughs> that's what we would use for our tripod, which, um, if you watch some of our earlier videos where they're just like sit down videos, you'll notice that, uh, they're very shaky. And the reason for that is because we would, we were sitting at the table and we'd, you know, bump the table and then uh, this guy would shake. Yeah. And then our next investment, which was the biggest thing we invested, was uh, this microphone here. And it's just, it's like a $100 mic and um, it's Blue Yeti. And we, you know, bought little adapters. Like down here, you can see we have an adapter for Emily's phone. So it goes right into the phone. You know, it did a little bit for the sound quality, which we thought was important. And then these guys are, I guess, like studio lighting. Um, and they have these things so it's a little bit softer because we were messing with the lighting forever in here um, Trying to get it to work and make it look decent, especially where we film at night a lot So we had to kind of buy those guys, but they're not that expensive I know they look kind of fancy. I guess if you're like they did to me anyway at first um, They're only like $30 a piece. So nothing crazy there Those things we have upgraded 
And I think next we'd like to get maybe a dedicated camera because we yeah. I'm filming on my phone right now and we usually film on Emily's iPhone mainly because it's easy to put it into iMovie, I guess. She does all the editing, but it seems easier to put into iMovie if you film it on your iPhone. Um, and we've run into less problems. So, I mean, on top of that, we'll probably get a camera. Editing software for Emily would be nice so we can do some fancier stuff for the editing. Not that she doesn't do a great job, because you do, Emily, you do a great job, and you'll see this when you're editing. Um, geez, I don't really know. That's pretty much all I can think that we would upgrade in the foreseeable future. Uh, yeah, and maybe in the further future, get Emily a computer or something. Um, because, uh, like I said, she's editing on an old iMac. Not, I mean, seven years old is old for computers. And it'd just be easier for her if she had a nicer computer. But yeah, so that, that's that's what we're working with. And this is where we film you know, our outros and most of our videos. Um, yeah. Ivy, what do you think of our studio? Is it pretty nice? What should we upgrade next, Ivy, huh? What are you doing? What should we upgrade next? Oh, yeah, yeah. You got a donut? Hi. Just got back from doing makeup. It went really well. She's she always looks pretty, so yeah. So now I'm home and. <laughs> she's being silly, huh, Eden? Yeah, she's so funny. <laughs> Eden just opened up her lollipop from her advent calendar, and she's eating it, and it's making her mouth black and blue. <laughs> Is it good, Bob? Yeah, it's making. Yeah. <laughs> Black. I don't know. I think maybe Jake and I are going to go to the store. We need to go grocery shopping. What? Oh, Ivy. You can't have that, Ivy. <laughs> are you done? Okay, well, I think Jake and I are going to go to the store. I don't want to go for the door. Today. Maybe when Ivy goes down for her nap. Don't put that in the cup, okay? That's fine. Hey, don't we have strawberries? Yeah. Okay, here we gotta look for words, right? So we have to find the word apple. A P P L E. You see it? Where's the apple? Mm, I don't know. An attempt to save money. Right? We decided that since we we're on our way to go grocery shopping, um, we should stop and get food first. Because you're never supposed to grocery shop on an empty stomach, right? Yeah. So um, we're actually saving money by spending money. And Emily likes to use that logic anytime she has to buy anything that's on sale. I'll allow that kind of talk because I'm getting pizza. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Try this way. <laughs> We've been playing this really stupid game at restaurants ever since we were like, I don't know, 15, where we take like the little coloring mats, or like sometimes they have like mats with like advertisements on it and stuff. Wow, this sounds really dumb, like even more dumb now that I'm saying it, but whatever. And we would push the mats like up against each other and then whoever mat folds over the top wins the game. I don't know when it started or why, but um, anytime there's a mat on the table, you can bet that we're playing that stupid game. You go ahead and tell them. I usually win and Jake is sorry about it. 
she never wins that game, and she's really upset about it, so. Why don't you blow on it? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's super duper hot, okay? I'm gonna blow on it. We got a veggie lover's pizza. Why? Because we love veggies. Yeah, that's right, we do. With no olives, because olives are straight from Satan. What did you get, Eden? A pizza. Can you blow on it? <laughs> for the first time in forever, to the beginning for life, for the first time in forever, to the dancing the wind for nice, the wind right gassy, the wind that's on, for the first time in forever, to the dancing the Nice job, baby. So we got back from town a little bit ago. We went to Pizza Hut like you saw, and then we went and got some groceries. We were we needed like baby wipes and stuff like that. So we went to the store with just Eden and Ivy stayed home and she had her nap and she had some supper with my mom. And then uh, I just put her to sleep because it's been a little while. So I put her to sleep for the night and Eden is in the living room watching Toy Story 3. And Jake is sound asleep. Um, he hasn't been feeling well. And I just really hope that he doesn't have a fever. I think that I am going to organize all our Christmas stuff. Because I still have some presents to wrap. And I want to gather up all the things for their stockings. And make sure that I have nothing else to get. Or, you know, just, just sort everything out. So I think I might do that while Eden is watching a movie. Oh, I just finished dealing with all the Christmas stuff. I counted all the presents and I put everything in the stockings and just as I suspected, Eden has way more than Ivy and Eden's stocking is literally overflowing. I went too crazy. Luckily, Ivy's not even a year old. So when Christmas comes around, I don't, like she's not gonna care, she doesn't know. And to be honest with you, the only thing that she's gonna be trying to do is eat the wrapping paper and Eden is probably gonna unwrap her presents anyway and then all of the toys will be shared. So it's really, it's not a huge deal. It just, you know, I wish I would have planned it out better, but I'm not gonna go out and buy more stuff to make it even cause that's just even crazier to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna let it be. That's all taken care of. You'll probably see it at some point because we're vlogging so much or you'll see it on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So Jake woke up and he's putting Eden to bed. And the second that they went to go do the bedtime routine, I cozied up on the couch. I turned the Christmas tree on. I got a bowl of Rocky Road ice cream. And this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. Got the tree. Got my ice cream, which you can't see that well. And gonna watch some YouTube. See you tomorrow, guys. Merry Christmas.